Yo! Howdy ho world, my name is Kat. My name is Daniela. We are just a couple nerds, and this week we're here to bring you a wonderful video of our favorite movies. Well, okay, not our favorite movies. We have gathered, collectively, a list of 10 movies that we think you have to see. If you watch them, please, please let us know what you think. It's always great to hear people's thoughts on something that you really enjoy. So please, whether they're good or bad, let us know your opinion. So we each chose five movies and... In no particular order. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tell you all about these movies and hope that you love them just as much as we do. So the first movie that I chose on my list is the movie that's called Apocalypto. It was directed by Mel Gibson. It's a movie just about like Mayan civilization right at the height of its time and everything's very authentic and culture. They speak in like native tongue. It's very beautifully done like just the cinematography in it is just really cool. It's really intense. It's a long, kind of a long movie, but I remember when it came out, I would literally watch it like every day. I'm probably not the whole thing, but just like parts and pieces just because it's so good. The first movie that I chose is a movie called Cloud Atlas. This also makes my list of favorite movies. People ask me like, hey, like what's a movie I should watch? And I'm like, hmm, Cloud Atlas. Um, it has like Tom Hanks and Halle Berry and Sigourney Weaver and like, the cast is amazing and somehow I feel like no one ever knows that it existed, like that it happened, like all of a sudden it was just in the theaters and then gone and everyone was like, okay, bye. And I was like, wait, no, no, look, the thing. Um, it's about, it's complicated because it's a lot of different storylines that take place at different points in time um, with different characters, but the actors play different characters in different points in time. And it's about how like, your souls are tied to other people in all of your lives and it, it it's just it's really good it's just so good it's so good so oh <laughs> Just please watch it. The second movie that I chose was a movie that's called Pleasantville. It's starring Tobey Maguire. It's a really cool movie about Tobey Maguire's family life and like the late <laughs> 90s. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's a not, film all about Tobey Maguire. It's not, it's not about Tobey Maguire. It's Tobey Maguire as a character. And he and his sister end up getting taken into this place that's called Pleasantville and things just get really weird. The place Pleasantville that they're taking into is a 50s sitcom. And so they're just not used to the life that <laughs> they're, I guess, sucked into at that point in time. It's really creepy the way that it all just works and pans out. It's really cool. Not creepy, but I would say definitely cool. It's just kind of just, it leaves you like, what? The next beautiful piece of cinematography that I chose is a movie called Boyhood. I don't know how popular it was, but basically it was a movie that was filmed over a period of 12 years. Ethan Hawke is in it, and so is Patricia Arquette. Basically it's about this kid, and he goes from like age five or six to like graduating high school and the movie is about him growing up and like I saw the movie when I was on vacation in the UK. I went on my graduation trip like I had graduated high school and then my graduation present was a trip to Europe and so I was like watching this movie just it just it made me think about my life and I just saw it at a really good point in time. You wouldn't think that watching a kid grow up is very is like really that interesting but if you think about it like that's life like that's what it's about like that shaped who he was as a person and to watch that happen and like the little things that affect a person and the little things that don't like it's just it's a really 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 good movie and i highly recommend it you have to watch it you have to sorry movie number three that i chose was the social network it is probably one of the movies that i have seen the most in my lifetime <laughs> It stars Jesse Eisenberg and Andrew Garfield and Justin Timberlake has a little has a little little part in there and I just I love it. They tell the story, it's the story basically about how Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook and like the whole Facebook thing. So I find it just to be super relevant and it's really cool. The acting is phenomenal. I quote the movie not out loud just because no one ever watches the movie. Like no one has ever seen the movie, but literally all I the time I just have like flashes in my head of me yelling at people all of these things that they say in the movie but i'm never like i won't say it out loud because no one would know what the, what 
the, what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so the third movie that I chose, this is a classic, at least for me. I don't know. Okay, it's called Across the Universe. This is one of the more popular ones on my list, at least amongst like my group of friends and the people that I hang out with. It's a musical, but it's a musical containing nothing but Beatles songs. And if you know anything about me, that's everything I've ever wanted in my whole <laughs> life. Jim Sturgis and Rachel Evan Woods, something like that. It's such a good movie. It takes place um, in like mid to late 60s. Um, and it's just a story of these people. It's a fictional story, but it's just... It's so well done, like the cinematography is beautiful, it does have like a bit of that like trippy 60s, 70s vibes and of course the Beatles music is just like the best soundtrack to anything yeah. ever and they cover everything so well. The fourth movie that I chose was 127 Hours. This movie was probably one of the coolest movies that I've seen. So the movie stars James Franco and it's him as this guy Aaron and Aaron is basically just traversing through the desert and he gets stuck for 127 hours in a ditch and it's just him and his camera in a way it's done as just like a one-man show because it's just like this guy having all of these issues being stuck um <laughs> but also like you know it goes through him having flashbacks and like man how did I get here type thing so it's super cool. I saw the movie a couple of years ago when it came out and it's still one of the coolest movies that I have seen in a while. So this, when people ask like, hey, like what are your, cause I'm a, I'm a scary movie buff. Like I really like scary movies, like horror films, suspense, like all of that, give it to me. I'm a little bitch, like I'm gonna jump and scream at everything, but I love it, it's fun. Um, so people always ask like, what are your favorite scary movies? And this one always makes, always makes the list. Um, it's called Orphan. When it came out, got it on DVD and every friend that came to sleep over at my house, I was like, hey, wanna watch Orphan? And he'd be like, yeah, sure, haven't seen it. I'm like, great. <laughs> <laughs> like literally watched it like eight, 10 times, like 10 sleepovers in a row. And all of my friends were like, chill. <laughs> it's just about this girl that gets adopted from an orphanage. And she ain't normal. A1. A1 creepy. I don't know. The jump scares do get you, but like the plot itself, it's just like suspenseful and nice and creepy. And like, that's what I look for in a good, yeah. a good thriller film. That's always so important in horror movies because horror movies are always just so boring. Like, yeah, like, oh, here. Boo. It's just me walking through a hallway, but I'm going to play some creepy music so you feel scared. No. Like, give me creepy children and that scares me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the last movie that I picked was a picky. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Movie number five that I chose was Donnie Darko. It's one of the coolest, like, spookums movies. <laughs> spookums! <laughs> but, like, without it being, like, a scary movie, it's kind of, it's one of, it's a psychological thriller. Yeah. Um, and so you just really have to be paying attention to everything that happens. But it just kind of leaves you with the feeling of, like, what the fuck just happened? And, like, I've seen it, like, maybe five or six times. And every time I'm just like, dude, what? Maybe Jake Gyllenhaal's in it. He does a phenomenal job. Just he does being Donnie Darko, 10 out of 10 would recommend. So the last movie that I chose is another musical, surprise, surprise, you're dealing with me, whatever. Um, it's Moulin Rouge. I literally have loved that movie ever since I could watch movie. Boz Lerman, I love, I love, love, love his work. Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor, freaking slay like they slay they do the soundtrack they actually sing the soundtrack like they actually sang the songs it's about the moulin rouge in new year when it turns like from 1899 to 1900 and everyone's like oh my god things are about to get new and crazy bing bing i know that we said we were only gonna choose 10 movies but there was also a movie that we decided to be number 11 a movie that made <laughs> honorable mention is a movie that's called enter the void it's really trippy it's really weird it's a movie that follows the story of this american guy who lives in tokyo and the movie's really interesting because it's shot from first person point of view yeah it's like it's like you're playing like a first person video game like you are the guy who's doing dmt and like tripping out 
when I first came across the movie, I saw it and I was like, that's really weird. And it wasn't up until maybe a few months down the road that I realized that I really liked it. And it's just because I would constantly catch myself like, man, I really want to watch Enter the Void again. And it's just like watching it over and over and over again. It just, it has a lot of different layers of depth and it's just different layers of, of depth and depth. <laughs> All of it's really weird and I really like it. It's just another piece of very interesting, very creative, like, someone really took time to write and execute this in the the way that they did and honestly i really really enjoy it the good thing is that movie is on netflix um i don't i don't think any of the other ones are um but that one most definitely is that's how we watched it unless netflix sucks and they took it off but it should be there Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching and listening to our opinions on things that are very important. Very important movies that matter. Yes, true. No, we just recently got to thinking like there are just movies that I find come up in conversation and enter my brain all the time that I want to talk to people about. And if they haven't seen them, I can't talk to them about them and I can't tell them how amazing they are. I mean, I can, but they won't understand it. Uh, leave us a comment down below if you watch any of the movies, tell us what you think about them. Also, if you don't watch any of them, but you have some movies that are popping up in your brain right now, they're like, hey, you guys should watch these. Please send us those, let us know. We always wanna watch more things. We always wanna consume more media, especially if it's good and we haven't done that yet. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's in Daniela's lap. It's right down here, hello. Cause we have a lot of more fun things that we're gonna share with you guys and if you don't subscribe you're never gonna know how much fun we're having also throw a thumbs up because daniela wants a good thumbing on the video cat wants a good thumbing too we both deserve a good thumbing <laughs> don't you think Alrighty, you guys we are clearly just a couple nerds <laughs> we will see you here next time on this channel bye guys <laughs> goodbye I'm hurt. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I'm hey back. Guys. I'm here. <laughs>